Demo Vision Project Discovery is a special presentation of Shaw Cable and 99.3 The Fox. to showcase Dirt Nap and Meat Wagon. Now, your host, Marianne McKenzie. Believers claim that there are four species of aliens living on Earth. The Pleiadians, the Syrians, the ones from Orion, and the Zetas or Greys. But there is a fifth alien life form among us, and their presence is being felt. This is Dirt Nap on Demo Vision.
got to be energy, yes, 100% definitely. all the time. Because if you're up there looking like you're not having fun, then no one else chances are the people looking at you aren't going to be having fun. And yeah, it's a huge transfer of energy between the crowd and you, you because the crowd. yeah, the crowd they're doing their own thing, and if they're hopping around, you're hopping around and stuff like that. And if they're not hopping around, you got to hop around to get them to hop around. So. I know when, when we play live, and I just totally go in another world, you know, and, uh, yeah. and uh, probably look like a bunch of freaks, but yeah. that's okay. I go to my chiropractor a lot, so anyway. <laughs> well, you got to be lively on stage because there's nothing worse going to see a band that you like and they absolutely just stand there and just do nothing except, you know, flick their head around a bit or whatever, you know. It's just, it also if they're not given 100%, you can tell, and mm -hmm. there's nothing worse than that. So. It reflects the music as well. And yeah. especially play, being in a place in Victoria, you have to, you know, really make stand it out. stand out or you're just going to kind of, you know, it's a bleak music scene to begin with, you know, for our style of music, you know, other genres do fairly well in, in Victoria, but for our style of music, it's pretty bad, and, you know, you just got to make it dense, so, you know, we feel our live show is, you know, that's where we shine. That's most. where we shine.
When Meatwag entitled their CD, Left With Nothing, they were right about something. Since they formed, they've left their fans with nothing but the best in heavy music. Yes. That's Weird Al TV. <laughs> yeah. so he, gets, he gets mistaken for Weird Al all Whoa. the time. We grew up on hard rock. And, um, you know, it's, it, you can't say much after that. I mean, we like to play fast, heavy. You know, we're not going to change. 
We were uh, weaned on Black Sabbath and, you know. You know, we like to be. <laughs> Led Zeppelin, Aerosmith, whatever. Heavy you know. sound, and uh, that's what makes us tick. Well, basically, it helped us get together as Meat Wagon because uh, I was recruiting a bass player for Annihilator when I ran into Lou. And, uh, and then I ended up popping into this Meat Wagon thing because they needed a replacement for this Battle of the Bands. And, and I filled in for this one Battle of the Bands show we did, and we won. It was good for uh, and, uh, At the time when Meat Wagon was playing, we had a live show. Dave came down, he checked it out. You know, they were looking for a bass player. And I just thought it was a great opportunity if I maybe joined on to this thing, I can help promote Meat Wagon because you're getting out there more internationally maybe and meeting a few more people. Jeff Waters is a great guy to meet. You know, it teaches you a lot. You learn a lot, someone, someone like that. And uh, it just made sense. So, uh, and then after that, um, after one European tour, me and Dave went on, then we managed to grab Dave on drums here to come over for, to do a European tour. So we all kind of got a taste of, uh, you know, what's out there. And, you know, we learned a lot of lessons. And um, and it was yummy. 